Hey guys, and welcome to Wood PC Case Series. We want to take you on a journey with us how we design and create our first custom PC case. A friend of mine wanted a new PC and he challenged me to make it out of wood. Even though I wasn't sure if he was kidding at the start, we decided to do it. And that's what we came up with. And we're pretty happy with the result. Today, we're going to show you how we designed the whole thing and created the basic structure. So let's get started. In order to create your own PC case, you first need to decide on what hardware should actually fit into the case so you can design it accordingly. As our aim is to go for a small form factor PC, we decided to go for a mini ITX motherboard. For graphics card, we just wanted to have enough space so you can even upgrade later on. For cooling the CPU, we opted to go with an AIO and a 240mm radiator. For the power supply, we decided to go with the typical form factor. Our goal is to give the case a unique look, as we didn't want to just screw it together and make a wooden box. We wanted to have it small, functional, good looking and blended with your furniture, but you should also be able to see the hardware inside. So I look back at something that I did 3 years ago. I tested out this small laser cut wood box. This wooden box just consists of 3 panels. The outer panel which goes all around the case is made out of one piece and has special laser cut lines so you can bend all around it. Now we're going to scale things up and take the concept of wood panning to the next level. Let's see what I created in Fusion 360. I'm no professional Fusion 360 user. Everything that I know is learned by some workshops that I visited at the Core Garage, our makerspace. And by the way, they're also now trying to do some online workshops, so you can do them as well. Check them out at the link below. So as you can see, the model consists of two side panels. And in the middle, there's one curved wooden cover all around the case. If you now take off the cover, you can see inside the case. And you can see it's divided into two chambers. The bottom chamber will not be visible from the outside because the side panels will be blocking the view. At the bottom, there will be the power supply and also the cables. Here at the top of the case, you can see the mounting mechanism for the AIO and the fans. You can also see another mounting mechanism that will be needed for the motherboard and also the graphics card. But we will go into that later on. Now with everything taken off, you can see the basic structure of the case and the frame that we need to build now. So let's go and extract that and try build it. So we've now got this browse wood board here and we're trying to go and laser cut that. We'll see if it cuts through. So you can see the plate immediately catches fire. This is something that should not happen. You can also see that there's smoke arising to the top. That is an indication that the cut doesn't go through. Okay, as you can see, it's burnt down to a crisp, it didn't quite work out. We had multiple runs with the laser cutter, we couldn't get through. I think, well, it's not made for that, and so we're going to do it differently. Since we are no professional woodworkers, we're not going to try cutting everything by hand. Luckily, we know a guy who has a CNC, where he cuts a lot of stuff for his workplace. He creates a lot of tools and interior for the Masters of Escape escape rooms. They are located in Vienna and Linz, so if you're close to them, you should definitely check them out. Links are down below. Let's get cutting.
After cutting out all the wood parts, you can see there are some minor and some bigger imperfections. So we took some leftover sawdust and mixed it with glue. After that, we tried to fill all the holes that we could. For the bigger hole that we had, we actually filled it up with some wood as well. After the filling was done and everything dried out, we gave it a little sanding. We've also had some leftover tabs that we had from the CNC milling that needed some cleaning. So now it's finally time to create the bottom and the middle plate. We're going to use 6mm plywood. So we prepared all the files and started cutting. After the laser cut was done, we used the grinder and some sandpaper to remove the burnt areas. To give the plywood a better look, we used some Bondex oak stain. We've applied three layers with waiting an hour in between to achieve the look that we wanted. After the plates were stained and everything was cleaned up, we used some Ala Laka Ligno oil to give it an extra finish. Before we finally glue everything together, we're going to drill a few holes that will be needed later on for the radiator mounting. We are also going to pre-drill a few holes for the motherboard mounting mechanism. Now it's time for some gluing action. Everything fits perfectly together.
So that concludes part one of our series. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. In the next video, we're going to show you how you create the mounting mechanisms for the graphics card, the motherboard, and all the rest. So stay tuned, subscribe, and see you guys next time.